Hey, what's up everybody? So first of all, I recently got a new microphone and that is this Rode Lavalier mic. And it is sitting right here because unfortunately the cable is only 1.20 meters long and it's not fitting under my shirt to go on the top right here. So please forgive me this little mistake. I already ordered an adapter to make this cable longer but until that arrives we're just sticking with this setup and yeah some of you might remember last week's tutorial where we move stuff across our frame along a specific path and in today's video i want to take things one step further to make this object appear as if it was moving in three-dimensional space and in order to achieve this we have to do the exact same steps as we did in the last tutorial but we also have to add a few masks to make this effect come to life and look real. All right guys, so with that being said, let's just jump right into our editing software and get things done. What the idea right now is, I want text to be flying in from the bottom part and then moving in front of this tree and then making a curve and crossing behind this tree, revealing back here and then moving up and then crossing the tree in front of the tree right there. So that is basically the idea. So let's grab a text node and connect the output of text one to the output of media in one to create merge one. Right now go to this text one node and call this whatever you want. For me it's uh, just sun and then make this a little bit smaller. And then once you've done this, go to this polygon tool, just drag it onto your node editor and don't connect it anywhere. Now on this polygon one, just zoom out quite a bit and then make your dots to right where you want them to be. Maybe just something like that should be good. Now what I want to do is smoothen out these two edges. So let's click on one of these and hit shift and S to make a curve. And then what I like to do is grab the lower handle and just drag it in something like that to create a nice smooth curve. Now let's do the exact same thing with the other edge, shift S, didn't want to do that, so then didn't want to do that again. All right, now grab this handle and drag it in, perfect. So right now everything is set up perfectly, but we have to change some setting on this polygon one tool um, because we want this line to be our path. So let's go to Polygon 1, go to the inspector in the top right corner and then go to all the way to the bottom to where it says right click here for shape animation. Right click there, go to remove Polygon 1 polyline and then right click there again and hit publish. And once you've done that you can basically let go of this Polygon 1 node and just drag it outside of the frame. Now go to text one, then go to layout in the inspector tab and then there you see you get center X and Y. Now right click on center X, go to animate and this makes us accessible to the modifiers tab. So let's click there and then first of all go to this displacement part and get rid of this keyframe because we want to keyframe this manually. And then all the way at the bottom you'll see right click here for shape animation once again. So right click there, go to connect to, go to polygon one polyline and then connect it to value. Now once you've done that, you will see that your text is actually on this path right at the center. So let's keyframe that, go to the inspector tab, go to path one, double click there and then make sure you're on the very first frame and then hit this keyframe on displacement right there and move forward to maybe 120 frames and just drag this displacement part all the way up. This should look something like this. All right, so this is pretty good, but as you can see, when we play this back, it's not very three-dimensional because our text is coming in, it's moving in front of this tree, making a curve, and then moving in front of this tree once again. Now because this is a two-dimensional image, we have to mask out our tree on a copy of this media in OneNote. So let's hit Ctrl+C c on this media in one 
and control V in the free space to create a copy uh, of media n1 called media n1 underscore one. Now connect this output of media n1 underscore one to the output of merge one to create merge two. So now let's go to this media n1 underscore one and add this polygon tool and then zoom in quite a bit to cut out our tree. So now this is nothing special, I'm just doing this very rough and fast in order for you to not sit through a 50 minute uh, masking process. Keep in mind that this is only a still image. If you're working with a video clip, uh, you want to mask out and also track this mask. Because there is nothing more frustrating than doing this masking process setting up everything perfectly and then forgetting to track the mask and then everything is messed up. So what I want to do now is uh, go to this dual viewer, go to media in one underscore one and hit one on my keyboard so I can see that it is only the tree left in the image. Now I can go back to a single viewer. What I want to do now is go to frame zero and play this back and you see what happens is the text is actually moving behind the tree. That is because, or basically the footage, uh, this whole composition is in the background. Think of it in layers, all right? So this whole image is in the background and in the foreground, we got this tree, all right? It's just, it's just this tree that sits in the foreground and our text is moving in between those two layers, if that makes sense to you. So what I want to do now is actually let's take a look at how this is looking. So that's looking pretty good. But we want our text to be visible right here and right here. So what I want to do now is go to this polygon to drag this up quite a bit. And then what I want to do is hit this polygon tool once again and then Let's determine when to start and where to start with this polygon three selected. So basically just like right here and then moving up to probably there. And what I want to do now is cut out this part where the text is moving behind the tree. And then let me just check. All right. So I have to change the paint mode from merge to subtract and watch what happens when I'm doing this is my text is basically moving in front of this tree, going up, going behind this tree, going up, and then right here, I gotta create another mask, polygon four, right there, basically, and then maybe move this up to right there, and connect it in between there, and then what I wanna do is go to merge and subtract this again, so that's moving in front of this tree once again. And once you've done that, you're pretty much finished. So let's play this back and see how this looks. Let's make this a little bit bigger. All right, this is actually looking not too bad. So what I wanna do now is because this is a pretty linear movement and linear movements don't look very pleasing, I want to change this to a more um, slowly at the beginning and then speed up over time movement. So I can do this in my spline window in the top right corner. Just click on there and then select this text one node and this displacement part and then hit zoom to fit button. Highlight both of those keyframes, right click in the middle, go to ease and then choose in cubic. And what this basically does is it is very slow at the beginning and then speeds up over time. And let's just watch the specs so we're not messing up any of our masks. This is looking good. Perfect. Very good. So this is basically the idea of how you can make an object appear to move in a three-dimensional space even though the footage or the video clip or the image is basically just a two-dimensional image. All right, guys, so that is all I got for today's video. I hope you still got value out of it and I hope you still like it. 
If so, please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button to help this video spread out to more people that are interested in that specific topic. So with that being said, hope you all have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.